get caught up in the hype of seeing our favorite Disney princesses interacting with each other in Wreck-It Ralph 2. However, we've noticed a few disturbing things about our beloved Merida that fans are less than happy about. We'll take you inside the controversy and let you choose which side you're on in the debate. Don't forget to subscribe to The Things if you love Disney, and hit that notification bell to never miss another video. Now let's check out what's going on with Merida. Let's get this out of the way. We love Disney movies. There's so much to like about them, and it seems like they're getting better all the time. Disney has been around for so long that it's not surprising they have some regrettable things in their history, especially where women are involved. For a long time, the company drew criticisms because they constantly portrayed their heroines as hapless and showed some pretty disturbing relationship dynamics, you know, like Belle's Stockholm Syndrome, or that it's okay to kiss unconscious women on the off chance they've been poisoned by a witch? With the passage of time and the raising of voices, it finally seemed that Disney was getting the message. We wanted heroines that were ready, willing, and able to save themselves instead of relying on a man to save them. And going even further than that, what about a woman who doesn't have or even want a man in her life? In Disney movies, it seems like all women who fit that description are always evil, as if having a relationship makes you a better person. And then we heard about the movie Brave, directed by Mark Andrews and Brenda Chapman. Chapman drew inspiration from her relationship with her own daughter and became the first female to direct a feature-length film for Pixar. Things seemed to be looking good, and the movie itself was far from disappointing. The first thing we noticed about Merida was her appearance, and we were thrilled that she looked so different than many other heroines. She has fiery, thick, and unruly hair instead of the perfectly poised locks of other princesses. She also looks like the teenage girl that she's supposed to be, and is a much more realistic-looking princess than we're used to seeing. Instead of focusing on finding a man, Merida is already betrothed to one, and she isn't happy about it. We see her fighting her own battles, wielding powerful weapons, and basically being the princess we all wanted to see when we were all little girls. It seemed like Disney was finally getting the message, but then things went south. Fans hoping to visit the official Brave website were in for an unpleasant surprise when they encountered a completely made-over Merida. Disney took a character that we adored because of how strong and, well, brave she was, and made her look like a totally generic princess. This new look was supposed to come across as glamorous, but that's not an adjective we would ever use to describe Merida. It seemed like Disney had taken two steps forward Forward and one step back with their handling of Merida. The new version looked thinner, older, and much less like her normal self. People were deeply unhappy with the change and were sure to let Disney know. They even started a petition on change.org, which gathered over 200,000 signatures. Even Brenda Chapman was furious about the change, and we don't blame her one bit. She even went as far as calling it atrocious. According to her, Merida was created to break the mold and give young girls a good role model. Thankfully, it seemed like Disney finally got the message again and removed the glamorized version of Merida from the website. Disney released a statement claiming that the design was intended to be a one-off and had served its purpose and would now be removed. But of course, as we all know, the story doesn't end there. One of the most exciting things about the new Wreck-It Ralph is the fact that we're gonna get to see the princesses on the big screen. Princesses and cartoon characters! The good news is that Merida is included with the rest of the cast, as she should be, of course. But the bad news is that she doesn't look anything like the original version. You may be willing to chalk this up to the difference in animation styles between Brave and Wreck-It Ralph 2, but that just doesn't completely explain it. Let's take a look at Belle. Beauty and the Beast came out decades ago, and yet she is completely recognizable after her makeover. Same with Cinderella, Aurora, and Snow White, and their films came out way before Brave did. At this point, it's pretty obvious that the cosmetic differences between the Merida we met in Brave and the version we see in Wreck-It Ralph are intentional rather than accidental. It looks as if Disney decided to go with the glamorized version of Merida that they created, instead of the original version of Merida that was such a success with fans. This this just leaves us wondering why. Who is this for? Merida was an important character who arguably paved the way for stronger Disney princesses. Frozen is frequently praised because Elsa and Anna 
didn't rely on men to save them. However, both heroines look much more like typical Disney princesses than Merida does, and you'll notice they look pretty much the same in Wreck-It Ralph 2. And when we watched the trailer for the movie, at first it seemed like Disney was getting it. Many of the other princesses seemed to be making fun of typical Disney tropes. When trying to determine whether or not Vanellope is a princess, the girls even ask her if people always assume that a man is gonna save her. Do people assume all your problems got solved because a big strong man showed up? It seems like Disney was trying to laugh at itself and show that female characters can be strong. But if they truly believe that, then why did they use a glamorized Merida instead of the original? Think about it. It can't be to impress Vanellope who wears a hoodie and looks very young. Recognizing the problem is one thing, but to impress us, Disney actually needs to address it. Many fans are upset that we're getting a dolled up version of Merida and consider it to be an insult towards an awesome character. However, others think feeling outraged over Merida's appearance is making a big deal about nothing. There's definitely no denying that Merida looks different than we're used to seeing her. But is that a good thing, a bad thing, or not really a thing at all? What do you think about the Merida controversy? Are you still excited to see all of the Disney princesses in Wreck-It Ralph 2? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section, and then click subscribe for more videos from The Things. Bye for now.